So Maine has certainly seen a shift with the pulp and paper industry over the years. There are a few mills thriving, but many more that have closed. Yeah, in Millinocca specifically, one organization is aiming to bring back the business with its newest project. And our Caroline LaCour spoke with the leaders to talk about how it's all going to come together. Hey, Caroline. Hey, good morning, Sharon and Lee. Nonprofit Arcatadan has been working to boost both the economy and community in the Katahdin region. Aiming to bring back the business that once helped Millinocket thrive, the group has announced its newest development for One North, formerly known as the Great Northern Paper Mill. We were really uh, hopeful that this can, can the anchor the, and diversify our economy here. A long-awaited investment for Millinocket, Ark Katahdin has plans to reinstate the former Great Northern Paper Mill into what they call a forest products campus, keeping the spot true to its history. Now we're looking to diverse the site, but still have a, a core industry of, of, um, of wood producers. A diverse line of products with a focus on much desired wood pellets and processing biomass from neighboring sites across the state. We want to find the highest and best use of every single aspect of that wood. Um, and so we're hoping this will be an anchor um, that will help attract other related forest product businesses. To support production, nearby railways will also need improvements, which the group hopes to fund through the Maine Department of Transportation's Chrissy Grant. The plan is to reestablish that spur, uh, that spur um, rebuild it in places that needs to be maintained, and then expand to the greenfield, which uh, that's about a 10,000 foot expansion of, of track. According to the Director of Industrial Site Development, Steve Sanders, the project has already gained attention from out of state, with a company out of Arkansas agreeing to collaborate on the Millinocket campus. Pellet plant of this size is a major capital expenditure, and it would create um, over 100 full-time jobs when it's operating. Sean DeWitt is the president of Arkatadin. He says the shared opinion is, although a big feat, the change will be a much needed one. And our hope is, you know, this, this can provide jobs to the broader, you know, I'd say what we'd call the greater Katahdin region, but also help to bring some of our folks back home. Arkatadin tells me they're confident but still awaiting on receiving the grant from the Federal Railroad Administration. If all goes smoothly, both the Forest Products Campus and railways are expected to be operational by 2026. Caroline McCor, News Center, Maine.